Welcome to Math with Martin Frank. We're looking today at the slope-intercept form of a line. The slope-intercept form of a line, the standard form is for slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b. Slope-intercept form. This means we're solving for y, getting y by itself on one side of the equal sign. It's equal to something times x plus or minus something here. And we call this slope-intercept form because m, which is the coefficient of x, the number that's multiplied times x, is the slope of the line. And b is the y-intercept, where it cuts the y-axis. So I can actually graph this line, my example y equals 2x plus b, I can graph this directly from the equation. I don't even have to get points. This is the slope-intercept form. 2 is the slope, 5 is the y-intercept. So I put in the y-intercept first. The y-intercept is here at 5. Then I'm going to go 2 up, 1 over. Well, if I go 2 up, 1 over, I, uh, 2 up, 1 over on here, I'm over here, which is a little bit above my graph. I want to go 2 down, 1 back to stay on the, on the grid pretty well. As long as I'm decreasing here and decreasing here, That'll be fine. Two down, one back to that point, and then two down, one back to this point, and another two down, one back, two down, one back to this point here. Okay, now I'm going to put on my graph. Connect the two extreme points, and the other points should fall in line. and there you have the graph of that line. So if you have slope-intercept form, you don't even have to uh, get any points for the line in order to have the graph. Now, if you want to make sure this is right, well, let's make a table. Let's put in 0 for x because that's easy. If x is 0, this is nothing. 2 times 0 is 0, so we have y equals 5. So we have the point 0, 5, which is my y-intercept. Okay, then let's give x another value. See, if we make it 2, that would be 4 plus 5 would be 9. That's off my graph. Let's make it negative 2. We can make x anything. So if x is negative 2, 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 would be 1. So you'd also have the point negative 2, 1 which is this point here on my graph, negative 2, 1. So you see that we do have slope-intercept form. Okay, let's look at some other examples. Okay. Here we have the equation y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5 y equals negative two-thirds x plus five. So, my y-intercept, this is slope-intercept form. My y-intercept, again, I've chosen five, because that stays on my graph nice. Okay, now my slope now is negative. That means it goes downhill from left to right. There's an inverse relationship between the uh, rise and the run. As y decreases, x increases. So as y decreases, x increases. As y decreases by 2, x increases by 3. So we have the point right here. I can find it on my graph. 2 down and 1, 2, 3 over. Okay, and now let's put my line in. Okay, and that's the line. y equals negative two-thirds x plus five. Now, again, let's get a table to make sure. Let's use zero here. 
If x is 0, negative 2 thirds times 0 is still 0, y equals 5. So that was my y-intercept that I found here. And then let's use a multiple of 3, for example, just 3, in order to get the denominator to cancel to get a, uh, an, a whole number, an integer. Get a little closer to that so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, so a multiple of 3. The threes will cancel, and you'll get negative 2 plus 5 is 3. The point 3, 3, which is this point right here, which was on my graph. So my slope-intercept form is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5. The y-intercept is 5. It goes 2 down, 3 over, 2 down, 3 over. Okay, another example. Back this up a little bit so you can see it. Oops. And there we go. Okay. So now we have an equation which is not in slope intercept form. We have the equation y equals 3x plus 2y equals 6. We want to put it in slope intercept form. In order to do that, we have to solve for y, get y on one side by itself. So we're going to, to get y on this side by itself, subtract 3x and subtract 3x. So that cancels there and we get 2y equals 6 minus 3x, which we can turn around. So we have 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. At that point, then we want to get y by itself. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and divide by 2. Divide everything by 2. So we have y is equal to negative 3 halves x plus 3. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. Move that over a little bit. Okay. And so, now we have slope-intercept form. Okay, so our y-intercept is at 3, this point right here. My slope is negative 3 halves. That means it, it goes downhill from left to right. As we go 3 down, we go 2 forward. So as we go 3 down, we go 2 forward and we have this point. So we have both of our intercepts, the x-intercept and the y-intercept in this case. There is my line. You see because it's a negative slope, it's downhill from left to right, and because it's an improper fraction, it's pretty steep. It would be very difficult to walk up this, if you can picture that. Now, we want to make sure these are right. We go back to our original equation. If x is 0, this is nothing, and you would have 2 times 3 is 6. So you'd have this intercept right here, intercept 0, 3. If y is 0, we're going to get this intercept. This will be nothing. 3 times 2 is 6, and that point right there. And so we have the equation 3x plus 2y equals 6, or in slope-intercept form, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. Okay, our next problem here. Move this up for you a little bit here. There we go. Make sure we can see that. Whoa, drifting on me. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, these two points, and we want to find the equation in slope-intercept form so that we can graph this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find out what the slope is. So m slope is rise over run. So we're going to find up 
we're going to set, write an equation for m. Rise over run. Rise is a change in y. So we're going to subtract the y's. I want to start with this one because it's easier for me. 0 minus, be careful, minus negative 1. And if I start with this y, I have to start with this x. 4 minus 2. Okay, so we have 0 minus negative 1 is 1. So minus negative is plus, 4 minus 2 is 2, m is 1 half. So now we have m. That's a good start. Now we want to get slope-intercept form. So we can use either point to find b. We found m. We can use either of these points to find b. Okay. So I want to use this point because it's less arithmetic. So we have the, the equation is y equals mx plus b. And we're going to put in this point. So on this point, y is 0 equals, we know what m is. m is a constant. It never changes in this case for our equation, 1 half. But the variable 4 goes with the variable 0. plus b. Sometimes my b's look like 6's. That's a b, not a 6. Okay, so we have 0 equals 2, because 1 half of 4 is 2, plus b, plus b, fooled myself on that one, B, and then subtract 2 from both sides, and so, so now we know that B is negative 2. B equals negative 2. So here B is negative 2, M is 1 half, and then X and Y are variables. X and y. So I have the equation now y equals 1 half x minus 2. y equals 1 half x minus 2. That's the equation in slope-intercept form. The y-intercept is negative 2. Negative 2. Let's move that to where I can see it. We'll move that back a little bit so you can see where negative 2 is and move this up a little bit. Okay, so we have this point right down here. Okay, and then the slope is one half. That means it goes one up, two over. So one up, two over would be right here. Another one up, two over would be here. Another one up, two over would be here. And connect my line. Connect the extreme points and the other should fall in, if you're correct. Okay? And there is my line. Now, my points should be on there, right? The points that I found certainly should be on there. So, 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1, this point is right there, right on my line. And 4, 0, 4, 0 is this point right here, right on my line. So that is slope-intercept form. It's pretty easy, and again, with all of this, it's easy if you practice. If you just assume that you know this and you don't practice it, you'll find it becomes difficult. Don't make it difficult for yourself. Practice, and you'll find this becomes pretty simple, and from here you can move on. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've Understand slope-intercept form from this. This has been Math with Martin Frank. There are a series of videos uh, dealing with algebra, geometry, and general math. Look for them under the title Math with Martin Frank. Thanks. Bye.